Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Castilian... Not Castilian. Cantabrian Crusades campaign in Crusader Kings 2. It's a word, it starts with a C. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright. Well, I think we're in a let some time pass, hopefully we make babies phase. Keep sizing up our neighbors. He's got 12,600 troops. You know, at some point, he's fighting right now. That's good for us. Um, keep in mind, though, whenever you're looking at this number, if you attack somebody that... If you're the wrong religion, then their number will just blow up. I do like how this is an instantaneous... Like, every day this gets updated. Who are you fighting? You're attacking the Basilius in the Umayyad Holy War for Maloka. Malorca. Wow, you guys are fighting over this. My brother says he'd be a better chancellor than the existing chancellor. Uh, we're going to hold off on that for now. It's true, you probably would be, but... So, if the Basilius is fighting you, that might actually be enough to give us an opportunity here. He's the aggressor in the war, so, again, attacking would give him an opinion boost with all of his vassals. Plus 75. We'd have to be cautious about that. Making about 53 ducats a year right now. Let's continue to check on... You know, there might even be a few bishops we could just grant a title to. There we go. Oliba, how would you like to be the, master, the Keeper of Swans? 65 opinion now, we'll get some taxes. Um, we got to get these other bishops to pay us. Or get this 500 piety number so that we can finally have... That might be worthwhile, but if you're spending money to get your get your bishops to pay you money, then you're kind of paying money just to get more money. Why not just save the money? I think we just go speed four and we wait. No, no uh, factions going on right now. We have a very small army. And I wanted to wait, and I am going to try to improve diplomatic relations and just see if there's a chance that... If we improve relations one time, maybe he'll let us wed Princess Iodikia. Iodikia. Gerberga, the wife of the recently deceased Carloman Carling, has, served, has arrived at your gates asking for refuge for herself and her offspring. She claims that her late husband's evil brother murdered him in cold blood in order to take control of the realm for himself. And now she fears for her life as well. Fascinating. So... What has happened is the, uh, I think they're like somewhat scripted events between the two Carling dynasty members, uh, Carloman Carling and Charlemagne. And, uh, yep, yeah, so King Charles apparently murdered the other guy, Carloman. So if we do this, uh, saved me my child, we get bonus opinion, 300 prestige, and I receive an event, or I am sorry, this does not concern me. Well. Let's get involved. Let's see what happens. Okay. So West Francia is a, a single country now, which is good and bad. Um, it means it's easier for us to get opinion with this guy, and hopefully he'll join our wars, but he's also kind of expanding into my area a little bit. Thank you for the tithe. Appreciate those. 1,265 prestige is pretty good. Notice we've got the... Uh, the bishops don't care about prestige. They care about piety. Monia has arrived at your court. Oh, okay. Welcome. Steward Mayor did not think I'd notice if a few coins went missing. Let's question him. He was declared innocent. Now I know I can trust him. Great. Yes. Your wisdom, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against the Theodric of West Francian revolt. Of course we accept. It's a minor rebellion, and it makes you like us better. Because we honored the alliance. You're furious because I, you know, took in the children of the man you, mar you murdered, but... My liege, I have good news from my mission to Burgos during my visit to the court of Bishop Liuvo of Leos, uh, Silos. I have filled his ears with poisonous slander and evil rumors about his spiritual leader. Their relation has been thoroughly sabotaged. So, at first glance, that event looks bad, but... He's actually saying that um, this bishop will like the Pope less. So even though he only likes me at 9, um, he's going to like the Pope at, instead of 69, 
Um, 59. I thought that it said minus, minus 2, not minus, sorry, minus 20, not minus 10. Alright, cool. Even more diplomacy. Just randomly getting more diplomacy. That's quite nice. Is that because of the, um... It might just be, you know what? I remember when they took away the, like, try to improve your attributes, um, ambitions. I think they may have just tied it to these. One, two, three, four, five. So I think if you take one of the two that are red, one of the two that are blue, you know, like, it works on that specific one. And gives you chances for random events to improve those stats. Oh, by the way, we were gonna go carousing with our wife. Didn't, weren't we? We're not allowed to go carousing with her. We go crowsing with a, another brother. I still have the carousing focus. And I think it's been long enough. Is it that because we're at war we can't go carousing? It was one of those situations where you didn't want to tell the truth in case it would hurt the person, but at the same time, honesty is a virtue. Be honest and tell it as it is. Yay, we're honest. Alright, so... Assuming that it does work the way that I said it just did, then that would mean that now would be a good time to change away from a carousing focus and maybe do like a military stewardship or intrigue focus. Could be good. I don't think we actually want to like get involved in this war at all, do we? Nah. However, an indulgence... Let's go ahead. I want to try to knock out this this ambition. Betrothed can marry. Let's bring the woman here. It says we can call in. Why does this pop up? If I can't actually call him into the war, the Holy Father has granted us absolution, so I can gain fifty piety for seventy gold. And make the Pope like us a little bit better. Yeah, sure. I mean, I just, I want to get to that 500 piety number. Gets us one step closer. You can't do indulgences very often. But basically, we're just bribing the Pope, giving him money. Much like real religion works. <laughs> Alright, Prince, oh man, we have a lot of brothers, don't we? Okay, so let's just go through our family tree for a moment. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that this thing, it, this thing got fixed when I reloaded the game. Okay, so we have me, um, he's married, he's married, she's married, he's not, he's not. So we have two unwed brothers, which means we have two potential alliances that we haven't satisfied yet. Maybe, if this woman is still yet not married, maybe she'll marry one brother over the other. No? No, I think that that would prefer matrilineal marriage thing might be more than just minus three. Let's not worry about that family. Uh, we'll actually just be kind of lazy then and use the marriage finding tool because it will present us with like guaranteed marriages. So we can marry into the Bavarian dynasty. That could be cool. She is, again, very hideous. It automatically kind of ranks them by their strength, like the rank in the world. So this is a countess. A princess of Bavaria, though, I would say is, is better. We also want to be checking the dynasty. Yeah, let's go with the Bavarian princess. And then we'll go back to uh, to you as well. I suppose a countess is, is good enough. And she's the relative of a duke. So despite the fact that she's a count... Apparently, uh, someone in her dynasty has something a little bit more. Oh, it's Theodric, the kind. The West Francine Revolt. <laughs> gonna marry the, uh, some, uh, some relative of the current person we're at war with. Cool. Sounds fine. Oh, I, I reject your insulting suggestion. Oh, really? You said you would. Oh, did I accidentally do the wrong person? I think I did the same person twice. Try that again. He does, she does accept that one. Very well. 
We can call in allies, except not really. How you doing, Omiyad? 2,000 troops. I mean... Oh, it's so tempting. It's so tempting to attack right now. Because you know that the war... Well, the war with the, Byzant the Basilius is over, actually. The war was won by the Basilius. So he attacked and lost. Which means that he might have negative money. He does, which means he has almost no morale of armies. But if I declare on him again, this number is going to just blow up. And I feel like... Without having a nice war chest to hire mercenaries, since we have no holy orders to hire, our steward was killed. Goodbye, Mayor. And he looks like our brother. Now don't get yourself murdered, man. I care too much about you, Aurelio. You're strong and beautiful. You have a strong chin. No one can see it, it's, it's hidden beneath your beard, but... War against the tyranny of King Charles' half-hand has ended inconclusively. Uh, this is interesting. What happened here? King Ebregizel of East Francia. Oh, okay, so something has happened then over here. Looks like the father, King Charles' half-hand, died a maimed cripple. You know, one thing I need to get into the habit of doing is um, sending people a special interest. For some reason, for a while, that there was a button right on the character screen that you could check to change whether or not someone was special interest, and then it got removed. I, I don't know why. It was, it was a really good idea, having it right out there in the open, and then they just were like, eh, well, eh, just take it away. We don't need that. Makes too much sense having it there. Now, our wife is making no babies at all. She has a claim on the Empire of Francia. This is not a war we could win, and it's not at all why I'm considering these alliances. I just, I just need the alliances for help. The rise of the Shia, the schism at the heart of Islam dates back to its earliest days. Majority Sunnis have long persecuted the followers of Ali, the Shias, forcing them into hiding. The partisans of Ali look to this, his descendants for leadership, but they are forced to keep their ancestry secret. Now, though, the Shias are mobilizing their strength behind a boy whom they claim to be Ali's rightful heir and Imam. Other Islamic jurists claim that the boy is clearly a fraud, but to his followers, he is the person they have been waiting for, and they now flock to his banner. Good. I hope that the Islams, uh, the Muslims, and the Shias, and all that, they just fight each other. Constantly. Raiders have arrived to pillage and loot West Francian territory. Okay. So we are only about eight piety away from satisfying our ambition. I think this woman is secretly uh, homosexual. She just doesn't seem to want to make any babies. Let's go carousing with her. Come on, woman. I'm going to take you out for a night in the town. We're going to go get drunk. Of course we'll come to feast with you. She says feast, but we're, what we're really talking about is getting getting drunk. Uh, all right, great. Now, since he's what he's landed, she's gonna he's gonna leave our court. He is now at court in Chalons. So he just left. Goodbye, brother. He did become an organizer. Oh, it's a shame. He would have been a fantastic military leader for us. Oh well. Go spread forth your seed. Spread the dynasty. That does mean that eventually we'll have a dynasty member who owns land over there. Which is just good for dynastic prestige. Which is just good for having your actual character, every character you have to have more prestige. Your guests have arrived for the feast you have arranged. Alright, woman. We're going to settle this once and for all. How long have we been married? I feel like we've been married for ten years. I will fix this problem. Today my brother asked me for a fife of his own. Um, you can be angry with me, brother, but I cannot afford to give you any of our land. These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time, it brings you closer to your companions and you feel like good friends already. Okay, I'm friends with my wife. Great. Will you make babies with me now? 
I get Dedicated Carouser, giving the following effects plus two Diplomacy. Okay. Shall we continue to carouse more, or should we switch to a new focus? I kind of feel like I should switch to a new focus, like military, just to get our martial score up and get more troops in our capital. On the other hand, we could switch to, like, seduction focus or something. A little bit of intrigue would be good. Let's just do seduction. We need babies. Um, this allows us to seduce. This one allows us to spy on. What does spy on do? I'm tempted... I, I want to do one of these two, just so that we can get our intrigue up, but also, I'm not sure if I want to, um... want to murder people. Nah, we need the babies. Okay, we are a seducer now. I am going to seduce this woman. Can I not seduce my own woman? Probably not. I think you have to seduce your own... <laughs> but let's make it interesting. <laughs> uh, plot to... Se no, seduce. Focus your seduction efforts on Princess... <clears throat> Hello, Rudis. Hello, how, how, how do, yeah, how, whatever that woman. This would make our brother a little bit upset with us, but he's our friend. He loves us. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Yes, we must seduce her. She's pregnant too. I shall bring my all my seduction skills to bear. Oh, this is a horrible, horrible idea. But let's just say that my woman is fat and won't put out, and I see. Him making babies, and I'm jealous. Some careful place, some carefully placed words he, uh, where they can be easily be overheard by notorious gossips can be more effective than a love letter. Princess uh, must have gotten my message, for I found a lock of hair wrapped in silk with her personal seal. <laughs> this woman is pregnant, and she's all about it because she's deceitful, probably deceitful and shy and craven. Ha ha! I shall have her. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep with a pregnant woman, and be all surprised when it's not mine. She's not responded to the love letter I had left on her pillow. I won't give up just yet. I don't think she's very likely to say yes while pregnant, actually. Meanwhile, <laughs> and our, our alter ego just became a paragon of virtue. So that's nice. New ambition. Let's try to have a son. We're now known as the Holy. Uh, I sent her a beautiful necklace and had her room covered with wildfires. The gambit seemed to have paid off, for I found a magnificent new saddle. Pretty clear symbolism, I must say. I'd say. A daughter was born, my niece! Uh, yeah. Nice. I find it curious that Catholic priests are constantly pestering Queen Bertrada, no matter what she promises to do, or no matter how much money she bestows to the Catholic Church. I know what she could do. I'm a holy man and I can't make babies. We can press a weak claim on the kingdom of Middle Francia. Some carefully placed words. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue trying to make babies with this woman. So you're saying I can attack over Middle Francia right now. King Pepin, the hunchback. On behalf of my courtier. Nah. That's not really a claim we care to press, is it? Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel like I should probably just, just either dis divorce this woman. The Pope will allow it. It'll cost us piety, though, and prestige. So we could either divorce her, so we could have a proper child with, um, you know, with an actual woman that sleeps with us. But we're friends with her now at this point. Why don't we just cheat on her? <laughs> that seems so much better. Oh, that's great. I shall not sleep with my sister. You are where? You're here. Your woman is a twin. I'll, I'll try to seduce her. Oh, I have to wait and the next pop-up event we get. Of course we accept your call. So the next, the next pop-up we get, we'll just stop trying to pursue that woman and go for a different one or something. I managed to chance upon her alone in the kitchen when she came down for her usual late snack. We've talked and laughed for hours. I can tell the attraction is growing. Um, okay, so apparently she is responding. I don't see her being, um, 
Okay, so just, charitable, deceitful, shy, craven. Hmm, I don't think, I don't think she's a naive romantic. Ah, let's quote some love poetry, see what happens. She's backing away from me, blushing and stammering something about being sorry before rushing off. So it might be because she's shy that the love poetry is too much. Alright, I shall s <laughs> I will flirt with her discreetly. Despite never getting a chance to be alone, I do believe my winning personality has impressed her. I need a new plan. <laughs> this is insane. Uh. This unlocks better laws. We'll go for some noble customs. You, we want to become a military man. Let our cousin do it. I made sure to attend this minor event so that I could seduce her. Meet in me room, milady. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just try it. It might work. I sure know how to cajole a woman. <laughs> she, we finally did it, yes! Snuck off in the wee hours, leaving the court clueless, I hope. Vidi, vici, vini. I came. No, I saw, I came, I... Hmm. The, okay, I, I just have to think about this. It's supposed to be vidi, 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 vini, vidi, vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. But in this case, it's it's organized in a different order. I saw, I conquered, I came, or something? It doesn't matter. Uh, do we want to make her into a, an actual lover? Have a little, little lover's quarrel. Let's do it. This might make our brother not like us very much. I don't care. Alright, are we allowed to go after our, our other brother's wife yet? Yes, we are. I shall bring all of my seduction focuses to bear. I need a baby, okay? Just need to increase the size of our dynasty, that's all. I shall seek an ally amongst her friends. I should have left her a note instead. Uraka. A lustful 51-year-old lowborn. Well, that was the friend that I tried to persuade to help me? What the hell? I'll, I'll do the note by the stream this time. And this woman, being a... she Her traits do match her appearance. She's ambitious. I'll just confess my love. Yes, let our love grow. Next. Now he's not in our court. He's gone. So we've just, you know, taken advantage of our two brothers. So we've got this one is our lover. We've got this one is not yet our lover. Princess of Lombardy. Has she made any babies? Oh, she's homosexual. This will be a challenge. Let's go for it. Um, oh, have I not freed up my opportunity to do it yet. I think you can only do it every now and then. Okay, well for now I'm going to take a break here. But um, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.